Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I'm Pastor Shogun Baji. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. Today we're looking at the power of the gospel of Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah. Paul said, for I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Praise God. You know, he was not ashamed of the gospel of Christ because the gospel is potent. The gospel works. The gospel is productive. The gospel gets results. Praise God. You get the job done when you tell the gospel of Jesus Christ. It has the power to make itself manifest. It has the power to bring itself to pass. Glory to God. It has the power to leap into being all by itself. The gospel of Christ is the power, the potency of God unto salvation. When you preach the gospel, salvation is released into the atmosphere. Glory to God. Look at that man um, at Lystra in Acts of the Apostles chapter 14 who never had walked. The Bible says the same heard Paul preach the gospel. Now the man heard the gospel, was born lame, never had walked. And the Bible tells us he had faith to be healed. Paul, perceiving that he had faith to be healed, screamed with a loud voice, Stand upright upon your feet. Praise God. Hallelujah. You see, the gospel is that powerful. It does not only save from sin, it saves from sin and all its consequences. It saves from diseases, it saves from sicknesses, it saves from, it saves from um, lack, poverty, it saves from oppression of the devil, it saves from everything that is of the wicked one. The gospel of Jesus Christ is that potent. The power of the gospel is only felt or made manifest when it is preached. It has to be preached. You don't know how powerful the gospel is until it is preached. And that's why the gospel is preached. All right, Paul speaking in Romans chapter 10 and verse 8, speaking of the righteousness of faith, he says, but what said it, the, the word is now being even in the mouth and the heart, the word of faith which we preach, the word of faith which we preach. So you see, it is preached. When it is proclaimed and announced, the power in it is let loose. And the power in the gospel is the power to save, the power to deliver, the power to bring to safety, the power to protect, the power to lift, the power to transform, the power to change is in the gospel. And I dare you preach the gospel. Open your mouth and tell the gospel. You can change a whole community by telling the gospel of Jesus Christ. You can change a whole neighborhood. You can change a whole family by telling the gospel of Jesus Christ. When the gospel is preached, the power in the gospel is made manifest. Glory to God. And that's why the preached word is the potent word. The proclaimed word is the potent word. The word announced, preached, is the word that goes forth with power. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. And God wants us to proclaim this gospel again and again and again and never allow anybody shut you up or shut you down. The gospel is potent to save, to heal, to deliver, and to bring to safety. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now go ahead and preach the gospel. Never let anybody stop you from preaching the gospel. Preach it to yourself. Preach it to your family. Preach it to your, your friends. Preach it to trees. Preach it to cars. Preach it everywhere. Everything responds to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is the power of God unto salvation. Today declare after me, say in the name of Jesus, the gospel of Jesus is potent in my lips, strong in my heart. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is upon me to announce the gospel of Jesus. And I see the power of God, the salvation of God as I preach the gospel in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you.